What's up guys, Kwezi here bringing you guys another tutorial. This one is on, is, is on how to make um, some abstract stocks in uh, Photoshop, uh, which is really cool because you can do a lot of things with these and figure, figure, uh, fix it around text and things and put it in manipulations and uh, desktop backgrounds. It looks really good on uh, any iPhone wallpaper or phone wallpaper. Uh, YouTube, Twitter, banners, backgrounds, headers, whatever. It looks good on a lot of things. can be used for a lot. Um, and some examples shall be on your screen right now. Um, those are ones from my 10K pack, I believe. Um, so yeah, so let's get into how to do this. So first of all, you want to make a Photoshop file. And you kind of want to make it big so it's high, it has high quality. So I'm going to go about 3,000. Oh, that's 300. 3,000 by... 3,000 because that's my normal kind of big document that I like to use. I'm just going to uh, double click on this layer and unlock it and then I'm going to hit control U and bring the lightness all the way down to make it black. All right, And then what we're going to want to do is go to the brush tool, go to a soft brush and just make it about a thousand. That works. And then just select any color you want. I'm going to go with the red put that right there oh crap actually make a new layer and then put the red right there and then duplicate this twice or three times or four times however many you want and make a shape kind of like this and like three dots and then go to your duplicated layers and go control U change the hue to different colors like so I'm gonna do contra contrasting colors like that then we're going to go select all these, right click, merge layers. I'm just going to center this now. And now um, you can do a couple things um, to get clever with. Uh, you can actually do, there's like many variations. You can add a bunch of filters, blurs and stuff. Or you could wait till after to do it. But um, I'd suggest using a quick little Gaussian blur or Gaussian blur. I'm not, I don't even know how you say it. I just say Gaussian because it, it's, I, I, I just say Gaussian blur, um, but yeah. So I'm just gonna go a little bit. Um, you can adjust the size of it depending on how much you want. It doesn't really matter. Just so the colors kind of mix more. And then what you're gonna want to do is go to Edit, Transform, and Warp. And then you can kind of just click around and create these wicked shapes. Do some crazy things. So I'm gonna do something like this. I don't want that there. Alright, something like that, then hit enter. And it should take a little bit to load. And there you go, you got a quick shape. Now to add some stuff to it, um, you can make a new layer, go get your brush, select white, and like click a couple spots on here. I'm just going to click that spot and go to overlay. And it kind of makes that spot a little brighter. You can see the difference. There you go. Um, and then you can kind of uh, duplicate these or make more, put them together. So I'm just going to merge these. Oh, crap. No, I can't. I'm just going to keep that like that. Leave that there. Um, and uh, if I want, I can duplicate this and just put it somewhere else, really. I'm going to kind of make it do something wacky. I'm not sure. Um, see how this looks. Alright, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, yeah, there's an abstract shape. Um, and there's a lot of more things you can do. Um, of course, you can add filters and things. Uh, another thing I'm going to show you quick. I'm just going to merge these, or crap. I'm going to select these, merge them. And I'm going to duplicate them twice. And they're going to look a little weird. And then I'm going to go to uh, the top one and hide it. And I'm going to go to the middle one. And I'm going to go Control T. And I'm going to go to the height. And I'm going to go 45 degrees. And then I'm going to go to, actually hit Enter twice. Okay, Filter. Then Pixelate. And then uh, Mosaic. And then I'm going to bring down the pixels somewhere like, somewhere there. This is an optional step, by the way. You don't have to do this. And then I'm going to hit Control T again, and I'm going to go to negative 45 at the height. So it creates this um, kind of cool effect. And then um, we're going to go to the top one, um, 
make that visible. Hit Control T, go to negative 45 height, and do the same thing again. Go to Filter, Mosaic, then Control T, and go to 45 this time. And it should line up into a triangular pattern. So like, if we put these to 50% now, the top two uh, mosaic uh, layers, it creates this kind of cool triangular effect. If you want, you can just lower it even more, something like that. Um, it looks cool with certain things. Zoom out, this looks all right, kind of gives it a blur. Um, you can use that effect for anything, uh, other things, but I'm just gonna hide that for now because I don't like it. I'm just gonna use this clean looking um, uh, stroke right here. Then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make another layer. I'm just gonna get another white, make it a bit bigger. Put it like right there and just bring down the opacity about three. And then you can just play around with brushes. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what brushes I could use. I could use something like this. I guess it's quite small. Just something like this, I guess. Add that in here. If I duplicate this, flip it over. And then merge that down. I don't know. You can just play around and mess with stuff. You can get a lot of cool things out of this. But yeah so let me just I'm kind of liking this oh no wrong brush all right yeah so that's basically it guys thank you guys for watching be sure to check out my 10k pack I released a few days ago and be sure to check out my anniversary video um, for two years um, but thank you guys for checking this out please leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later peace Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Be sure to check out my last upload, which is my two-year anniversary video, plus a little IRL in the description. Um, be sure to check out all my social medias and check out my store. All the links will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching again, and peace.